Bro, full interior. Makes me don't want to sell it no more. <laughs> Hold up. Maya, turn it on. Turn the AC on. Let's go. All right, turn it off. All right, guys. So I went to the junkyard to get a second blade. Now they're in. All right, safe. Holder and blades. Maya, turn on the AC. Alright guys, so the fan turned on at 89 Celsius. And now oh. okay. <laughs> so it turned on at 89 Celsius and it cooled down. So it really did cool down to 86 degrees now. What do you think? What do you think about this RX8 motor swap? Fantastic. Okay. <laughs> so yeah we good 86 degrees that, that's even good because it turned on at 89 now since i'm close to it's 91 kilometers thousand kilometers i have to do my oh yeah sir license registration oh 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 no so yeah i had to um so this is 91,000 kilometers, I have to do my maintenance. So I'm gonna do my oil change, I'm gonna do my coolant, drain, and fill. So I'm gonna do it from the block and the radiator. And then from there, I'm gonna do a fuel filter later, because I have to relocate it, because I got the kit for it. And then later on, relocate the battery, and then delete the air pump, because I got the kit for all of that. And once I'm ready, I will single turbo swap it, and we'll be good to tune it at I feel like tuning at HP Logic, where it's Jack at, because that's the closest to me. And he's really good, because he has his own. But yeah, so that the oil leak problem I was talking about, it was just the power steering. I cleaned it up a bit. It looks clean. I don't know if you guys can see But yeah, everything works. It actually cooled down faster. I loved it. I had to get one blade from one junkyard and one blade from another because when I went, the first blade, it was actually damaged, so I couldn't use it. So I had to use the second junkyard, junkyard, and it was a little more expensive, but that junkyard is known for that. But hey, now it's working. So now you know RX-7 work, you see? AC is not on, right? AC is not on? AC's not on. No. The fans turn on at 89, 89 degrees Celsius. Oh. Just cool down, it goes to 86 Celsius after. I have it zip down, zip tied down, but I definitely have to electric tape this down another day since I don't have electric tape on me. But it definitely is for $132 for two motors, and then you go go to the junkyard from any RX-8 blade, I'll say from 2004 to 2011, I used both six six blades on both sides. So it cool faster and better. That's my opinion. And it actually is working faster and better with those two six blades. And that's it. That's me installing those on, showing you guys that RX-8 motors from 2009 to 2011 actually works for FD RX-7.
right, guys. So now I ordered some parts for the Miata. Ordered some seat buckles because mine is already cranky. Cranky is like it's not you know, letting me sit. And then this is a safety issue right there. Bam. Doesn't click in. So now I have to take out the seats. I'm going to put the top down to make it more easier. And then I'll be back when the seats are out. All right. Top okay, down. now seats off. Now I got to take this off here, this bolt right here. And then take off the safety thing. But yeah. <laughs> then I got to collect on my rear, all that rust from the seat. So all you need is a 16 for this bolt and for the seat bolts are 14. So now that's out. The safety. Oh yeah, guys, look. If you guys want any pins, if you are pin collectors, follow the guys. The guys are the best. They have new pins. They have a plush coming out. Like a small plush. Please follow them. Follow them up. Back to the Miatas. <laughs> so yeah, you gotta take out the safety thing. I'm trying to do it one hand. Uh, all right, okay. So if I'm right, this is the driver's side. So uh, now, I'm gonna take it apart. I don't want to hit the camera, but new one, much safer, and then bam, right there. So the new one is a 17 millimeter one. Now it's safer. Just tuck this, tuck this in. And yeah. Now I gotta put the seat back in. And I gotta do the other side. Basically it's the same. Four bolts. And then the 17, no, I like 16 for the original one and then 17 for the new one. All right, so now the seat's in and the buckles work. So that's the most important part about this Miata safety. Once I got it, it was like the, it was iffy. These seat belts were like, eh. But now I switched it. I'm happy that it's gonna be more safe now. Even though it looks higher, it looks higher, but it's, it's all right. All right, so disregard all that. I don't need to take out the seat. I could just, right there, Sink, simple bolt. Do it right now. This is a 16. Do it that easy. Bam. I'm so, I'm so dumb. It's all right. Make a good video, I guess. <laughs> all right, and I also did buy a OEM fuel filter for the RX-7. As you can see here. Part number if you need it. You can pause the video if you need. This is the fuel filter. I'm at 56 mile, 56,000 miles, but I feel like changing already because I have here, you know, RX-8 seat and another RX-8. I was going to put in a Miata, but I'm going to tell you guys about the Miata later. I got here the relocate Relocator Kit. This will be easier next time I change the oil filter. But yeah, now I'm getting everything slowly. This was an expensive part. Obviously, all dealer part, but still. Now, Fuel Fest is coming. So I have to 
have to do something about these chairs. I want to put these in the RX-7 before going to Fuel Fest. Is my goal, if I don't put these in before Fuel Fest, I am not going at all. Because I want these to look good. Even though I got some, you know, leather cracking like always. But I want these to go in the RX-7. Because it matches, basically. It just matches in beautiful RX-8 seats, you know? So, I'll, I'll try these. If not, I'm going to try those. Which I really don't want to, but I want these so much in the car. And then, like I told you guys before, I'm going to try to wire it up so the power seats work. I'm going to figure out, figure out a way because, obviously, RX-8 seats are two inches wider than the FD ones. But I'm still gonna find a way. I'm gonna see if I have friends out there who welds. See if my Miata group has a welder and a person that welds, hopefully. But yeah, and then if not I feel fast, I'll just probably go to another one because I would did my oil change, you guys are gonna see in the video. Then my oil change and I seen my black back turbo is leaking. You guys will see in the video earlier or after this scene. But yeah. But so but still I got the Borg Warner turbo still. And I got the full race engineer manifold. And basically random stuff in my closet for the FDR except. And then over here, the rear visor, you know, if I can get it. Carbon. I'm still got to take that to the body shop, and I'm still iffy about it. Because, you know, body shops are expensive. But, yeah, so far, it is the update. And...